okay, let's do this. So today is kind of a special day because it's the one year anniversary of my leap into the vlogging scene. A lot of people don't know that I vlog. It's weird not to talk about it because over the last year it's become a rather significant part of my life. People who aren't familiar with vlogging tend to have certain misconceptions of what it is to be a vlogger. People who vlog are lonely kids sitting in their bedroom, talking to a camera with the hopes of becoming internet famous. Vlogging is for people who like to hear themselves talk when ranting about and showing off the mundane parts of their life. Vloggers are people who seem funny and cool on the internet, but it's just an act, dressed up by clever editing. In reality, they're socially awkward nobodies. <laughs> As someone who's been watching vloggers for years, I can tell you that those descriptions don't accurately define the people that I watch. I guess it comes down to the kind of people that you choose to watch on the internet, right? While YouTube is full of people who are just trying to be entertainers, I like to watch people who share interesting and thought-provoking opinions on various topics. The real successful ones are those who manage to entertain their viewers as well as engaging them in discussion. The opportunity to connect with people and foster conversation was what drew me to vlogging. It was the reason that I agreed to do this vlogging collaboration with my friends. It was an experiment to push myself creatively, communicate my thoughts on a new platform, and challenge those misconceptions of vloggers. So what have I learned from this year-long experience? From a video-making standpoint, I have learned so much about how to talk to a camera and how to produce something that's easily watchable. If you compare my earlier videos to my later ones, the difference is astounding. The content has evolved from just talking to a camera to full reenactments of the stories I tell. By playing with different camera settings and editing techniques, things like the pacing of videos and the visual and audio quality have improved immensely. Vlogging has also given me an opportunity to try things that I wouldn't normally do and to document it in an interesting way. In the past year, I've seen President Obama speak on campus, attended a midnight movie premiere by myself, gone to the Rose Bowl, acted in a student film, traveled to London, and even met some famous YouTubers. I met some really cool people through these experiences and developed stronger friendships with the other bloggers on this channel. I've also learned a lot about myself, as cheesy as that sounds. When you film yourself on a weekly basis and you play back that footage in editing, it's impossible not to see the evolution of yourself over time. When I started vlogging, I was really nervous just to talk to a camera. I had trouble projecting my voice and getting my words out just right. As the year went on, I've become more comfortable and confident talking to a camera, and I've even vlogged in public on a number of occasions. Not an easy thing to do. I guess the biggest thing that I've learned from this whole experience is that I am a vlogger, and I enjoy doing it. It's my creative outlet. It gives me a chance to communicate my thoughts in the way that I want to share them, and to hear other people's perspectives on those thoughts. Vlogging provides me with opportunities to grow and to document that growth as a video maker, as a communicator of ideas, and as a person. So whether you've been watching since the beginning or you just started watching today, I just want to say thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey, you're still here. All right, well, since I have you for another minute, shameless self-promotion in three, two, one. If you want to see how much vlogging I've done, you can click on my face to see a complete playlist of all the videos I've made in the past year. FYI, the first few are pretty embarrassing and definitely not as good as my later videos. But if you have some spare time and you want to watch me be silly in front of a camera, feel free to click here to watch the complete playlist. If you click above, you can watch the previous video in our vlog which happens to be a video that I made of meeting Hannah Hart of My Drunk Kitchen. You may notice from the description up there that I'm not the only one who vlogs on this channel. This vlogging channel is run by me and my friends. We make vlogs to each other and talk about whatever's on our mind, all while learning how to live the post-grad life. And if you click on the YouTube link at the right, you'll find all the videos that all my fellow vloggers and I have made. So you can browse through the videos and get a good idea of what this vlogging collaboration is all about. Also, we're on Facebook now? If you're not someone who subscribes to YouTube channels, and you want to see more videos like these, then you can go over to our Facebook page and click like. All videos uploaded on YouTube will also be posted on there. So by liking your page, you'll see new videos from us appear on your newsfeed. Sorry for the self-promotion. As a reward for sitting through all that, I will end this video by entertaining you with some juggling. Bye.